Yo, what's going on guys? It's Wayne. Welcome back to another video. Today is a weird day because it's currently Christmas Eve and I just had the bright idea to be productive and just change the whole setup around again. I don't understand why I keep doing this in my life, but I'm going to be moving everything again. I'm going to be moving the bed, I'm going to be moving the desk, and then it might not work out. I just want to see how it looks. I don't know. We will see. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I got a lot of new things in the mail. First off, let me just show you guys all of these packages. So a couple of these things I've actually ordered like a while back and it finally came in the mail. I've also got a lot of new things from different companies which is really cool. I get to review their products and also use them. But the other reason why I am moving everything around is I gotta find a way to fit a new desk which is kind of crazy. A lot of things got to happen today and I'm just gonna see what I can do in like one giant day of moving everything around because it's currently Christmas Eve so I gotta make sure this looks good for tomorrow so. Let's get it. Alright, so it's been five hours now and I actually haven't done much. But I've decided on the layout that I'm going to be doing. So I'm actually going to keep the desk where it is right now because I tried to do it with the other side and it just didn't look good with the windows. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Uh, next, you guys are probably wondering what happened to the shelf unit here. Uh, that's going to be moved over here. And you're probably wondering, like Wayne, it's going to cover the TV. So the TV is actually going to get wall mounted on the wall here, which is really cool. And that's going to probably take me a couple of days because I'm waiting for the mount from Amazon. It's like a $20 wall mount. I have it linked down below. And yeah, it's going to be really simple. My dad's going to help me out and we're going to do that. And I'm probably going to be getting rid of this TV stand. But yeah, very simple stuff. I'm just waiting for some parts and then we're going to do installation. And in this video, it'll be really quick. Obviously, I'm just going to cut to the moment we're going to do it. So yeah, uh, next thing we're going to do right now is setting up the new desk, which will be right here. So let's go downstairs and get it and bring it up here. Let's go. And if you guys are interested in the carnage of our really small hallway, this is all my other extra stuff that I have not put back in, like the brand new lamp. But I'll, put, I'll find a place for it, but for now, it'll stay out here while we install the desk. And there we got it. New standing desk. Time to test out the desk. It's all plugged in. Very, very easy installation. It's like, I think like five, six steps. It was super, super easy. A couple of screws and you're good to go. Uh, if you're stronger than me, you have an easier time flipping the desk, but I'm very weak, as you guys can see from that video. I could barely even turn it over, but let's go ahead and try it out. Boom! That's actually really good. It's not even that loud. That's the one thing I was kind of worried about was like, compared to my Foley, how loud it would be and it sounds almost the same. And it's going pretty high. <laughs> Holy crap. So I did this with my standing desk a while back with my Foley and I just want to bring it down and see how it looks with the camera. Cause it kind of looks cool how smooth it is just slowly going down. It's very quiet. Like this is really manageable. I love it. We're going all the way down. <laughs> yeah. And I think we should be near the end. There we go. I love it, man. Thanks, Solos. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a couple of weeks now since I finished the desk and actually I've already built the desk setup in this past week and now it's time to mount the TV. As you guys can see, the desk does block the view of the TV. The only way I can watch TV is to actually put the desk at its max height. So the only way to solve this is to mount the TV up on that wall. And I do have my mount ready. I have some tools. I got the leveler. I have my uh, stud finder. And it's going to be just one stud that I need to find and just level. And hopefully it works out. This is my first time mounting a TV, so hopefully I don't break anything. Uh, and hopefully I don't <laughs> damage any power lines. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs>
All right, it's been about a week now since I've mounted the TV. I actually didn't do anything for about a week because I had COVID, so I just couldn't do much. And this is how the TV looks. Sorry if I didn't really made a video after I mounted it, but it does look really, really cool. I just need to mount the soundbar because unfortunately, yeah, the soundbar is on my desk and it doesn't fit anywhere right now. So I just need to find a mount for that and we're gonna hang that up. Uh, the other thing I've done to the setup, I've actually added this Alex drawer. I don't know if anybody's seen this in my recent videos. I got an Alex drawer as my kind of like nightstand when I'm sleeping and it just helps me out with storing a couple of things. Uh, and it's just really nice to have an organized uh, shelving unit for for once because this uh, cubicle here can be a little bit messy at times uh, So adding that uh, Alex drawer is really nice Also for anybody who's asking what happened to this wall and why the paints all messed up I used to have a nano leaf canvas on this wall and I decided to take it out But unfortunately the command strips kind of ripped the paint, but I'll get to fixing that eventually But what happened to the nano leaf canvas? I actually decided to put the canvas on my bed and this is how it looks Boom, it looks super cool. It literally fits the bed frame perfectly. And when you walk into my room, it's like the first thing you see is just like, what the hell is this on the bed? Uh, yeah, I just attached it with some 3M command strips and it just looks super, super cool as like a base light for the bed. I just never thought that I would put an expensive light like this on my bed, but it does look really cool. I can't even lie. You can touch the lights for some cool animations, but I'm not really gonna do that. I do like how it has music mode and like different themes that you can adjust with the Nanoleaf app. But yeah, it just looks super cool and adds a lot of vibes to the room, especially when you walk in. Like, what the hell is this on the bed? What we doing on the bed, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. But yeah, it looks super, super cool. I definitely love how it looks. And uh, if you guys want to put some nano leaves on your bed, I definitely recommend it. I think it would look really cool. The other thing I've changed is this area over here. So for my C stand, I actually added casters right here so I can roll it around. With the casters on, it's much easier for me to move the light over here when I'm recording uh, with my productivity setup. So that's really nice. And in general, it just makes my life much easier instead of picking up my C stand and moving it around. So that's really, really cool that I was able to do that. And the other thing I did was get rid of all the pops that used to be on these shelves and I added some old tech. I have the A6300, the AE1, uh, an old Sony point and shoot that my family had and it's still working which is great. I have this old iPod, uh, the iPad 1, the original, uh, the original Canon 5D Mark 1, some disposable cameras and I guess my tool chest. I just put it over there because I didn't know what to put up there. But yeah, I got rid of the pops because I think it was a little bit weird that I had so many pops all around. Uh, so I just put my favorite pops over here. Uh, let's go talk about this area that I finally had a chance to work on, which is my closet. This closet has been basically my junkyard for a little bit. <laughs> I just put place a lot of random stuff here. Uh, what I would do is just have my clothes, obviously, but I would also just throw in a bunch of wires, a bunch of gear that I just don't want anybody to see. So I found some places to put them in or just throw out a lot of stuff. I probably should have recorded a before and after of this, but uh, this used to be full of clothes and some random stuff. And now it collects all my gear that I just don't want to be able to be seen. So it's nice and organized and it's much better that I don't have to see this every day. Uh, but yeah, so tool chests, uh, my FPV drone, aperture light. Uh, light stands, tripods, and then this little cart that I used to have just lying around. Uh, and <laughs> sneak peek, we will be installing these Dolby lights right now. But yeah, I'm trying to use this cart as like a YouTube cart, just stuff that I need to install. And then I have the sound bar mount. Man, my dog is barking so loud. But yeah, we're gonna be using this. But yeah, let's go ahead and install all this stuff. It should be pretty simple.
All right, y'all, so I just installed the Gobi Glide and damn, I think I chose the right design because this looks freaking cool. I feel like I'm living in a Tron house or something. This is so dope. I know I've had the Life X Beam for a while, but like, I don't know, it just looks so much cooler with the curvature on when they're turning in uh, versus like the sharp angle of the Life X Beam. And yeah, for like, Cheaper than the Life X Beam, you get all of these lights. Like what? That's kind of nuts. Like look at this. And then the music mode. Oh yeah, I I love the music mode. Let me see if I can change. Let's do rhythm maybe. What does rhythm do? Whoa. Okay. So I'm using the Gobi app. It's pretty cool. You have so many options to work with. Let's bounce. What? <gasps> no shot. Yo, this is so cool. I am holding a guitar just because I wanted to play with it. This is not tuned right. Fountain? Whoa. Whoa. Yo! <laughs> Dude, that is so cool! What the frick? Uh, this is called Strike. This is kind of cool. What the? Imagine I made a whole YouTube video and it was like this. Like, that's nuts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. Let me know if you guys like the design. I had so much to work with. I got the really big kit, so like, I had so many lights. I didn't really want to waste any, so yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. And the reason why I added this space over here is so, you know, I can add the pillows and whatnot. And it's still there, technically, so like, all the empty space down there would probably been blocked if I, if I made it a little lower. But also, it's like, perfectly in height with my standing desk so I can hide the wires. I can hide the power cord with the standing desk. So yeah, this is really cool guys. I love this. All right, we are finished with part five of the Dream Room Makeover series. It's been over a month to create this episode. So yeah, I'm just glad that we finally <laughs> were able to finish this. Man, this room has completely changed ever since uh, we started this whole thing. I'm just super grateful that everybody here has been following along. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to do next, but if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know uh, down in the comments. I'll check it out, see what I can do. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for coming along and watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like that video, hit that like button, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.